Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Pro Detailers, Volume 8 has hit the shelves. A ton of work has gone into this one, and there's some really interesting mega tests in there that are going to give you some good information. Hey guys, so Pro Detailers Magazine Volume 8 is now being published. Been, been fun this one, this is a good magazine, I've really enjoyed working on this and I've been involved in some of the articles. What have we got in this month's magazine that might be of interest to you, the, the punter? And we've got a winter wash guide that's quite in-depth about all the things you need to do to prepare your car for getting kind of through the winter. The time of the year where you're you're less encouraged to go out and kind of get your car mint all the time because of how the road conditions are and the weather conditions. So you really kind of, you know, it's giving you advice on how to really get your car through the winter back into the summer with the time of the year where you can really kind of, the car stays cleaner for longer and you can enjoy it. And it's a good article that is, I've just been having a scan of it. You've got the normal product showcase guys. So there's new products that come through, um, you know, every time the magazine is published. So stuff from Sonax, Show, loads of brands and stuff like that. So you can hear about what's going on in the sort of product side of the industry. There's events coverage as always guys, so um, Bert will go out and film different events like the classic car show, at the Audi owners car meet and all things like that through the magazine. Um, there's, there's some sort of dorky detailing guides if you like for guys that are really into the kind of technical side of it. There's an article this week on, on wash buckets for, for detailers and why they're important and also quite a good good um, article on all the different types of grip guards that are out there and what they're kind of offering you and that's something I want to explore later on probably next year on the channel. There's a Mythbusters article written by myself on um, dish soap and the joys of using dish soap to use your car that's a kind of classic kind of question isn't it and we go into a little bit of detail about my why you could consider doing that if you wanted to and why you couldn't but all of the info is in the article there's also uh, other articles and contributions from lots of professional detailers up and down the country including the ask owl section where um, people put various detailing questions to alan from am details check out his channel and he answers them so that's a really good one you've also got the chemistry corner which is a part of the magazine i really like because they delve into a certain chemical area of detailing. This, in this um, issue, it's snow foams, and the article's written by John Hogg. There's some really good technical info in there as well about how snow foams and pre-washes work and what they're kind of giving you. So that's a, that's a good read. Um, there's product features on the Griots range, an interview with Nick Griot from, uh, from Griots. And Griots are just gonna hit the scene a little bit more at the moment. Jeff from Prestige Car has sent me some bits and pieces to have a look at from Griots, so Griots even, if I can say it right, an American brand. So we'll be talking about those a little bit on the channel as well. Um, but you can learn a little bit about that company if you want to. Um, but the really important thing with this month's um, Pro Detailers Volume 8 is the two mega tests. This is a bit selfish because I was involved with these, so they're important to me, but there's lots of other good content. But um, I went up to UK detailing on two separate occasions. The first occasion to look, I can't even remember which way round it was. It seems a fair while ago, but it wasn't that long ago. The first occasion, we had a simple kind of day of testing. And the aim of that testing was to look at all the wash related media you know, the different types of wash mitts, whether they're sponges, microfiber, synthetic um, wool, real genuine lamb's wool, and even kind of brushes that you can use to wash a car. And we wanted to explore on very soft surfaces, primarily, the ability for these different materials to inflict scratches on very soft surfaces. So we're measuring kind of, you know, clear coat's normally tougher, but we're looking at which one of these medias is the best on sensitive kind of surfaces that are clean when they're dry, and then the best on sensitive surfaces when they're wet, we looked at that, and we also looked at the best of removing dirt from those sensitive surfaces with the less marring. And it was a really good day and a real eye-opener for me. Um, and you I learned so much doing these mega tests, guys. It's one of the best, most fun things we ever do. It's a tough day of lots of filming, 
lots of looking and observing and um, you know trying to build up all the results for the mega test and do it fairly as well. Um, this was less, this one was less about comparing products from different offerings and more about comparing the formats if you like but um, have, a, have a read of that if you're interested on what type of wash mitt formats um, and what the benefits they, they give you. The second mega test guys went back up to UK detailing and Ian and Bert have got a variety of different hardnesses and types of metal that you might be faced with polishing if you're a kind of detailer, you know, whether you're doing it at home or whether you're professional. And picking um, a range of products, about 12 products to test and see how they cope and the levels of finish that they can deliver on all these different finishes. They even kind of inflicted, Ian's got like a bead blasting machine or a grit blaster, so he put in kind of grit sanding marks in the, you know, we, we put stickers down of the Pro Detailer's logo and then blasted the grit over the stickers to create like a, it's a bit like a sanding mark effectively when you're testing polishes and then seeing how the metal polishes could take out the, the shot blasted grit marks, which was really cool. There were some very meaningful results gathered from the, the metal tests for, and, and they carried on. I was there for one day and they carried on for another couple of days doing this. And, uh, but from the day of testing I saw, um, there was a couple of products which performed really well and the mega test results, the recommendations on metal polishes, it, it, I'm basically going to follow it because I was there for the day and, and I saw the product that they're, they're kind of recommending and how well it sort of performed. So that is it for Pro Detailers Volume 8 guys. It is a massive privilege again. It's one of the big things that I've really enjoyed doing over the last few years with Pro Detailers, these mega tests. We've explored so many different areas of detailing compared so many different products and when you put products up against each other and and put them through you know similar tests for each product and observe you definitely learn something and we learn more and the more of these i do on all these different products you know if i keep doing it in about a couple of years time i might actually have a clue what i'm talking about it's also a privilege to work with bert and ian who are really really good guys respect to pro detailers magazine for doing this type of thing it does require a certain size pair of balls, if you forgive my French, to do this type of comparison. But it also requires the brands that submit their products in to have this testing done. Massive respect to them, because there's certain, perhaps, parts of the industry that would rather, they wouldn't have their products in these kind of mega tests, because, you know, there's only, you're looking to provide recommendations from a big pool of products. So there's, you've got to be brave to put your products in there, and not all of the brands will want to. But, um, Massive respect to the brands that are putting their products into these tests. We're not trying to tear anything a new a-hole. We are just trying to learn some stuff and publish the results. And that should be the name of the game of kind of like doing these comparisons. And it is. So you will get some good information. What else is going on on the channel, guys? Well, I have in my hand here something that's very popular, something that's about to hit the UK, or may have already hit the UK before when this video comes out. This is P&S Beadmaker. It's a product that I played around with, with um, when Levi from the Rag Company came over. Oh, God knows how long ago that was. Was it four or five months? It seems like yesterday. Hey, Levi, if you're watching. Um, and they demoed it to me, and I collected a bit of footage, but I didn't quite have enough product to test it or... You know, I, I didn't have a branded bottle as well. They just gave me a little sample to play around with it. So I can, I've got some bits of footage with Levi, but I'm going to be testing bead maker, PNS bead maker, up against all the similar type of products in this kind of quick protection spray sealant that you can put on top of other things, type genre of products. And, it, and I'm going to be comparing it to um, Carpro Reload, Sonex BSD, Geon Wet Coat, and Adams H2O Gloss and Guard, which are all products which are very popular and highly rated. And going through what I'm testing and giving you kind of the results of that testing, so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you kind of want to want to go ahead and purchase Bead Maker. But you should, if you're not that worried and you just want to have a look at it, you know, it's it's not expensive, so maybe go ahead and buy a bottle if you're into it and make up your own mind. But the object of this review is, is to try and kind of compare these because they're very popular products. So hopefully that'll be a useful bit of consumer information as well. That's it for this one, guys. Take care and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now.